What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel guys. So I'm sorry again for taking a break. I actually ended up getting sick again if you can tell in my voice. I'm still a little congested and I've also been doing my best to try and stay in the know of everything that's been going on because I've been on this break. But I've been looking for an editor recently. I've also been looking for a graphic designer and I found I think both of those. So videos should be coming back on both channels at the start of the new year but we got to end the year out with at least one more juice video before i start rolling out more videos so we're gonna jump on into this but make sure to check out my second channel i just dropped a tier list over there of the like top 21 best and worst albums and projects that are released this year so go check that out also i want to shout out my twitch and shout out to all the channel members but all this being said we're gonna dive on into this so the biggest thing that i want to talk about real quick is that my grail quitter ended up leaking this ended up leaking because someone accidentally uploaded the song on soundcloud and they didn't realize till a few hours later that they had done this which is kind of crazy that my grail feel alone that was my number two grail released on fighting demons this year without leaking and then my number one grail quitter ended up leaking which is just crazy i got both my grails i literally made a joke in one of the last videos that i was going to retire once we got both these songs but obviously here we are i'm still making videos but i do want to just say that quitter is definitely a little bit different than what i was expecting i guess there's not a lot you can expect for something that's a little bit older of a song like that i don't consider it mid because it was my grail and i've been listening to it quite a bit but I do understand how some people might not like this side of Juice or this era of Juice because it is a lot older than some of the stuff we've been getting like on Fighting Demons or on Legends and Never Die. But then again, we still got stuff like Already Dead and Wandered to LA. So yeah, I don't know. But I also want to go over that the Make It Back and Feel Like a God studio sessions both leaked as well. And we might be getting a GoPro group buy in January. Now, this is a little weird just because this song I basically think is confirmed to be releasing, but... I guess then again, so is Quitter. I mainly only listen to Quitter because that's my grail. I don't know if I'll listen to GoPro because I really do think it's going to release on like something like The Party Never Ends or at least sometime in the future, but we have that to look forward to. I also want to go over that there was some confusion going on with Aquafina. There was some stuff going around that the song had an open on it and a few things about that. Well, the producer of the song actually ended up tweeting out, and I want to shout out to uh, 999 Slider Yash for all this stuff. Link to his Twitter will be in the description down below, but the tweet basically says, we finished it the day we made it. There's no open verse. He's referring to Aquafina, so we know Aquafina is completed with two verses and that maybe we'll get to hear it one day. I know that this is a big grail for a lot of people. This is one of my my favorite snippets that's still left so i hope we get to hear this one day and i have faith in the label if they were able to find stuff like rd dead and quitter i have no doubt in my mind they wouldn't be able to find anything also want to go over that we are going to be getting an rd dead music video plus baby responded about the go hard second verse by saying that we should be getting it late january early february now i don't know what would take so long to get this especially because he said two weeks ago more than two weeks ago but there's a little update on that. We also got a little trailer to go with the Already Dead music video that will be releasing soon. It's one of the animated ones, so that's just whatever you feel about that. It definitely looks a lot better than a few of them that we've gotten, but for the most part, I'm not a fan of these animated videos. I thought the Righteous one was cool, but I'm just not a huge fan of a lot of those. And then the last little thing I wanted to add in here is that we got some kind of news regarding uh, Blood on My Jeans. Now, this is something that I've known, but I don't think has ever been in one of my videos, so I do want to add this in here that... Max Lord actually went on to talk about Blood My Jeans by saying, I don't know where you're getting your info from, but it's not accurate. I had gonna do a verse for On The Run, which obviously is just Blood On My Jeans. That's the official name that Juice picked. And he said that he was honored to do it. He did it within 24 hours of me asking. Juice and I always had kept the second verse open for Gunna. Grade A didn't want to give him any splits and they said that they didn't like him, even though Juice loved him. So they blocked it from coming out the way Juice envisioned the song. Gunna is not against it whatsoever when it's not a blatant cash grab by the folks in charge that would look bad on him. Basically just saying that Gunna was not against being on this song because he found out that Juice wanted him on this song. That's the reason Blood of My Jeans or On The Run had an open verse on it and that the label just didn't want to put Gunna on it and release it that way. I honestly don't know why. Maybe it's because it was just a huge snippet that they wanted to just cash in on by releasing the original. But even whenever I listen to the song, I only listen to the leaked version with Gunna. I think it's way better that way. I think the mixing's better and it has a second verse with Gunna on it. That's the reason there was an open on that song in the first place. But with all that being said, guys, that's all for this video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to follow me over on Instagram at Complex Productions 999. I'm trying to get 2,000 followers over there, so please follow that. Also, shout out to my twitter at complex discuss we just got over 3100 followers over there so thank you guys for supporting me like i said i have an editor 
writer and a graphic designer now so hopefully videos will be coming out more frequently but with all this being said guys thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video Thank you.